wrestling fans, today we're going to be discussing the state of the WWE. How the WWE is going to get to WrestleMania from here on out. You know, guys, we just got done with the Survivor Series. Thanksgiving week tradition. You know, guys, so this coming Thursday, happy Thanksgiving to you. However you celebrate it, eating turkey, ham, stuffing, pumpkin pie, apple pie, being with your friends, your family, however you celebrate Thanksgiving this Thursday, happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, get fat and full, however you do it, happy Thanksgiving. But you know, wrestling fans, the state of the WWE usually come Survivor Series, you know, they say the road to WrestleMania starts at the Royal Rumble, but usually, usually they have one or two matches kind of planted at the Survivor Series. Now, we didn't quite see that this year. We didn't quite see that this year. We didn't see any, like, real seeds planted. You know, we I, I thought we were going to see the Undertaker's, you know, match planted at the Survivor Series. I, I, I thought we were going to see Bray Wyatt, you know, the Fiend, you know, interrupt that 30 uh, uh, year celebration somehow. I thought Kane was going to uh, get, you know, uh, just destroyed. I thought Undertaker was going to get destroyed or Undertaker was going to destroy Bray Wyatt, something. But we didn't see that. So the question is. What is the state of the WWE? How is the WWE champion going to get to WrestleMania? How is Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, going to get to WrestleMania? Because most assured, Roman Reigns is going to be the WWE Universal Champion come WrestleMania. Now, is Drew McIntyre going to be the WWE Champion come WrestleMania? Uh, you know, who knows? We're going to talk about that right here today. We're going to discuss if the dead man is going to have a match at WrestleMania right here today. And why I think that The Undertaker still is going to have one right here today, wrestling fans. Before we do, each and every single one of you... Do yourself a favor, become a subscriber today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for all notifications. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, it is appreciated. Go to my home YouTube page and click the links, takes you right to them. Guys, not only that, go back and watch anything you missed, Backyard Beatdowns 1 through 4. The fifth one is on its way. December 3rd or 4th, either that Thursday or Friday, going to be a tremendous backyard beatdown, me versus David. Awesome. First blood matchup. Not only that, wrestling fans could have me versus Jason Funny in the mix of all that too. So uh, tune in for that as well. Going to be a big backyard beatdown five. Guys, go back and watch. Previews, reviews of Survivor Series, galore. A lot of great stuff out there. But the only way you can get notified of everything is if you become a subscriber and hit the bell. So make sure you do that. Now, guys, let's dive into the state of the WWE. First things first that we're going to talk about is the dead man, the Undertaker. After all, it's November. We're celebrating 30 years of The Undertaker. And Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss are on a roll right now, right? Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss are on a roll. And what just happened with the WWE Championship? Seriously, what just happened? Drew McIntyre regained the WWE title. Okay, now a, a, a big reason why he regained the title in my eyes is so he could lose to 
Roman Reigns at the Survivor Series. I think that's a big reason. Now, is that the only reason why? Of course not. But that is a big reason because you're not going to have a hill Randy Orton who was on a tear uh, all the way through the summer and, and, and fall uh, uh, months leading into the Survivor Series lose to the other big top hill in the WWE, Roman Reigns. You're just not going to have that. So you needed that top big baby face to lose to Roman Reigns. Now, wrestling fans, as far as Bray Wyatt is concerned, somebody who is just was doing an awesome job, has a, a great chemistry with uh, Alexa Bliss and that kind of stuff with the Firefly Funhouse, haunting Randy Orton in that uh, mix with Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre, What's he do? Immediately at the Survivor Series, he cost Randy Orton an opportunity to go to the Triple Threat Contest next week. Guys, I don't know if y'all been paying real close attention, but Bray Wyatt's been sending these messages to The Undertaker. Uh, like through Twitter and that kind of stuff. Well, here's your sign. Bray Wyatt's on a roll on Raw, and he was on SmackDown. He is facing one of the big top guys on Monday Night Raw right now. This is his leeway going into the Royal Rumble. They need something for Bray Wyatt to do to get him more prepared for WrestleMania. What better way than to face Randy Orton? Now, I'm not saying that Randy Orton was all built up just to be fed to Bray Wyatt. But, if Bray Wyatt was destined to be The Undertaker's last match, Randy Orton, sure what, Randy Orton sure would be the perfect person to help get him 100% ready. I don't know, guys, but that's just my theory on this. Y'all let me know what you're thinking about that in the comments below. As far as Drew McIntyre is concerned, this is a little bit iffy. This is a little bit iffy, okay? Because Drew McIntyre, okay? Drew McIntyre could go a couple different ways. Number one, all right, we have The Miz. Oh, boy. Now, I like The Miz, but, you know, he has a Money in the Bank briefcase, which is another reason why I think Drew McIntyre has the WWE Championship. Because next week... AJ Styles is going to win that triple threat matchup. And it will be AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre at TLC. I mean, that's just the way I see that 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 WWE Championship match going uh, for TLC. And that's a good contest. That will be a good contest to end Raw's big main event match for the year. Now, guys... Look, what happens with The Miz? What happens with his Money in the Bank contract? Is WWE really going to save that for past WrestleMania? Of course not. They're going to get that Money in the Bank contract off The Miz before WrestleMania. If they keep that on The Miz for WrestleMania or beyond WrestleMania, I'll be shocked. So... TLC, Royal Rumble, something along those lines. They take it off the they take it off the Miz. They cash it in on Drew McIntyre. They have a little bit rivalry with the Miz and Drew McIntyre. Miz won't keep it that long. 
and either Drew McIntyre will get the title back or 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 we'll have Randy Orton get the title back for a certain superstar a certain superstar edge quite possible I mean that is quite possible edge Randy Orton it was rumored it was rumored that we were going to see Edge versus Randy Orton WrestleMania again. Now, it's also rumored that we were going to see the big dog, the tribal chief versus Edge at WrestleMania. I want to tell you why I don't want to see that. I mean, I'm just going to be, tell you why I don't want to see that in, in, in just a little bit. But back to the raw side, okay? Back to the raw side of things, all right? Let's take the hurt business. What are they going to do with the hurt business? I mean, seriously, tag team championship? Surely, surely, I mean, if you want to make these guys going into the Royal Rumble, TLC, the WrestleMania, things like that, put the tag team titles on the Hurt Business. Make MVPs stable even greater. Don't just have... Bobby Lashley, the United States champion, add some more gold to them. Seriously. I wouldn't have a problem with Cedric Alexander and uh, Shelton Benjamin holding the tag titles. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. But I have the Hurt Business hold the, the gold. Do that for a while. Have them win it at TLC. Then have a rivalry going through the Royal Rumble and things of that nature with different tag teams on Raw. That would be great. You want to do something with the tag team division. I'm not saying you should just push the Hurt Business and that's it. But don't just use the Hurt Business for Bobby Lashley. Don't just use the Hurt Business for them. You have two, three stables in WWE on Raw right now. Why are you uh, only really shoving one and pushing one? Okay, so you want to uh, put the titles on the Hurt Business. That's what that's the that's the the stable you're using the most. Okay, makes sense. Now you use the other stables around them to put on good matches, get some wins on the other stables. Eventually, drop the title to them, build them up. You know, Mustafa Ali be great. What's wrong with him? Love to see him in the United States Championship matchup. Matter of fact, matter of fact, Bobby Lashley, Mustafa Ali, I would love to see going into TLC. Never happened. But I'd love to see that. Now, Wrestling fans, let's move on to something that, let's just face it, really matters. And that's the Universal Championship. Because the tag team and the uh, United States Championship, 
WWE just doesn't really care all that much about. When you look at how they they put it on the card, they don't care that much about it. When you look how they look at it towards WrestleMania season and you look at how they put it on the Royal Rumble and, and this time of year, they don't care much about it. So let's look at the Universal Championship. Right now we have Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. Okay. All right. The Tribal Chief. And he just got done beating Drew McIntyre. Well, what's he going to do now? What's... What in the world is there for Roman Reigns to do now? How many more people can he mow over? Right now, it's Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is going to be that uh, feud for the next couple months. I can see that. Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, going to be very good. Very intriguing. But what happens... What happens after D. Bryan? Seriously, what happens after Daniel Bryan? I hope it's not Edge. I seriously hope it is not Edge. I don't want to see what last year was supposed to be. Who has the best spear in wrestling history? I don't want to see that. I don't know who would want to see that. I hope that WWE does not reach into their bag of tricks. Which, of course, you know, it wouldn't bother me if they brought back Brock Lesnar. But if they brought back Brock Lesnar, the only thing that's going to happen is have another Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns match. In which Roman Reigns would be the babyface and Brock Lesnar would be the heel because Roman Reigns would get turned on by Paul Heyman. So we go from Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns to something on to one of those type things. This is gonna be a train wreck on SmackDown. I don't see any any uh, uh, positive right there. Any positive right there. So far, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All I know, they could somehow get Drew McIntyre over to SmackDown, and uh, we have another McIntyre versus uh, Reigns matchup. WrestleMania 37. Who knows? You know, um, those are the type of pieces of the puzzle that I see going for WrestleMania and, and, and uh, Royal Rumble and things of that nature. As far as who's going to come back at the Royal Rumble, I see Edge coming back. I see Charlotte coming back. I... <clears throat> Guys... Over the next couple months, WWE is going to have some different pieces of puzzle fall into place. But those big matches, those big rivalries, is how I see going into the Royal Rumble and in the Mania. So, y'all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel today. Do everything that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch all of you on the other side. Talk to you later.